Christmas guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's the 24th of December, which means it's Christmas Eve. I already celebrated by myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm in the same position as probably many of you. Um, I can't be with my family at the moment because they live in a different country and I'm basically stuck here. So as you know, I am in the UK and the UK currently is completely cut off from the rest of Europe so we're not allowed to fly out, no one's allowed to fly in. Um, yeah, we're literally <laughs> sitting on a little island right now. I mean, to be fair, it was always my dream but I always was hoping it's a little bit more tropical. But um, yeah, it is what it is um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, 2021 is going to be better than uh, 2020. I am so over it, I just want to yeah, I just want to have New Year's and I never want to talk about 2020 ever again, really. So what I did by myself today, um, unfortunately my housemates are gone too, so I literally had Christmas all by myself, but I made myself a feast. So, I mean, today is the day to treat yourself, honestly. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking. And um, yeah, so I made myself some turkey, um, roasted potatoes, Brussels sprouts and stuffing balls and with some gravy and bread sauce which apparently is really British. Apparently it's really old school, that's what my housemate said and he warned me but I thought it was kind of delicious, honestly. I mean it was different but it was delicious. So in Germany we typically have um, goose, potato dumplings, red cabbage and gravy for Christmas so that's the real traditional Christmas dinner um, yeah but today I thought I'm gonna mix it up a little bit since this is my first Christmas in this country um, by myself so yeah I thought why not make it a little bit more traditional dive into the culture of this country you know and um, yeah just try their traditions and food I guess and I have to say it was really really good I really enjoyed it it was a little bit I feel it was a little bit like Thanksgiving dinner somehow. Maybe because of the turkey and the cranberry sauce. But um, yeah, no, it was really good. I'd love to know what's the traditional Christmas food in your country, wherever you're from. Um, yeah, please leave it down in the comments below. Tell me what is traditionally eaten on your Christmas Eve, Christmas day, whatever you celebrate. So typically when I spend Christmas with my family in Germany, we have dinner and then we go to church, listen to some Christmas music and after that when we come back home, it's time for gifts. But this year, unfortunately, I spent this day all by myself, so I had to get myself a nice gift. And here it is. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I got myself some wine, but it's not just any wine. It's Post Malone's Maison Number no. 9 wine. Um, it's a French rosé. And I'm very excited about unboxing this. Honestly, I've been waiting for this day so long. <laughs> I've been waiting um, to have time to actually make a video about it. So yeah, I'm actually really lucky that I got my hands on it because that was only a limited release and I actually checked just today and it's all sold out now. So yeah, I'm really lucky and I can't wait to try this wine. So yeah, those who know me, no, I'm a massive Post Malone fan, so this is probably the closest I ever get to him and that's why I'm so excited. I actually saw Post Malone last year in Vancouver. I worked at one of his concerts and I sneaked in after my shift. Psh, don't tell anyone. And this year I had tickets for his concert in London. I even had like front row tickets and it got cancelled. Thank you COVID. So even though I did my fair share in hospitality, um, I'm far from a sommelier. So if you're looking for like a professional review of this wine, this is not it, okay? <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my excitement with you about opening this box, trying this wine, and I'll let you know if I like it or not and if I think you should buy it once it's back in stock. All right, let's do it. Let's open my box. I got my knife here, my box here, and... I'm opening it. Da -da -da -da. Okay, that didn't do anything. <laughs> just, I guess I just have to rip it open here. Alright, here we go. Okay, 
guys. Both bottles are wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, as you can see, I take this off. And then it's also wrapped in um, black, black like tissue paper, thin paper, you know, this gift wrapping paper. So I'm only going to open one bottle for now, I see. So let's do this. So excited. Here it is. You can see it already. Here it is. That's a beautiful bottle. Maison number nine. And here you see, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Yeah, that's the tattoo um, post he has. I think it's on his right side of his face. Um, yeah, so that's the bottle. So I got myself the 750ml bottle. Um, it actually came out in three different sizes. So 750ml, 1.5 liters and three liters but actually when i checked um i think i bought it on the 18th or the 17th even the day it came out they were both sold out already like the larger ones so i got myself the 750 but i'm actually really happy like i think that's a decent size um that's definitely drinkable <laughs> by myself you know without ending up under the table so yeah i think that was a good choice just like posty said rosé is for when you want to feel a little bit fancy I think it's Christmas Eve, definitely a time to feel fancy, so let's open this bottle. Alright, let's do this. Take this off. I have a bin down there, so I can throw it on the floor. Alright, as uh, the first thing you notice, it actually has, you see that, it has the glass stopper. It's not like a cork or anything. It has like a really nice glass stopper. Let's see. If I can open. Ooh, there we go. Oh, and it has like the number nine on top as well. And I reckon you can use that. You can probably reuse that for other bottles as well. So let's see. Okay. So here is my glass. Let's give this a try. I actually watched a lot of like other reviews about this wine. Um, and it was like, they go like, mm, smells like lavender, smells like thyme because the grapes grow right next to those herbs. And um, yeah, they just like take in their flavors or something. I have no idea about that. Okay, so I will just try it. To be honest, I don't smell much in that. Um, it smells like a really nice light rosé. Um, it's from the Provence, so I mean they're famous for their good wine. So I guess Posty couldn't do much wrong with this. <laughs> so yeah, let's just uh, give it a try. All right, here we go. The moment we all been waiting for. I'm gonna try this wine. All right, cheers. It's good. I actually like it. It's very light. Um, it's not sour at all. Um, it's also not super sweet, but you can t you have like a little taste of sweet in it, sweetness in it. Um, it's a really nice wine. I can totally see myself drinking this, sitting somewhere at the French Riviera, um, enjoying the sunshine. You know, um, yeah. I think that's what he means, but if you want to feel fancy, I already immediately felt fancy. Thanks, Posty. I really like it. I think I'm going to finish that bottle. <laughs> okay. So, but all fanciness aside, 
I think uh, that's a really nice wine. Um, I drink a lot of rosés, usually they're from California. Um, they're a little bit sweeter, but this one is like the perfect balance. Um, on his website, he describes it as crispy, refreshing, and very smooth, and I think that sums it up perfectly. So it is not dry, it is not too sweet, it's like perfectly in the middle, it's very light, and I would definitely recommend this wine. I would definitely buy another bottle once they're in stock. I mean, so far I have two bottles, I'll be fine for a couple days. <laughs> So I would totally say go for it. If you're thinking about getting your own bottle of Maison Number no. 9 now, I'm hoping they're back in stock in the UK very soon. As I said, they come in three different sizes. I paid $16.99 for the 750ml. Um, I think the 1.5 liter was about 40 pounds and the 3 liter is about 99 pounds. So to sum up my absolutely not professional review about this wine, I highly recommend this. I would give it like 10 out of 10. Thanks, Posty. Cheers. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to here, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas.